Welcome to HB Tuner's Ford Mod Motor Training Part 1. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our VCM editor and scanner tuning suites. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our first video so we can check out the process and make sure we have everything ready to go for our training course. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our HB Tuner software onto our laptop so we can begin our training course. So we're going to be learning how to install our VCM editor and our VCM scanner. Both are needed in order to carry out the calibration and tuning process. So let's first jump into our web browser here. I have that open right now to hbtuners.com. We're going to be going up to the top here on our browser and going to the downloads section. This is going to allow us to download the VCM suite. So let's go here to downloads. We'll be patient and let that load. And then we're going to move down here into our downloads area. We're going to find here where we have our download VCM suite latest stable version. And off to the right here, we have download VCM suite beta. So the stable version of the software is going to be what's released, what's current, and what's been proven to work. The beta is going to be something that hasn't been necessarily proven to work. It might have glitches. It might have bugs. We don't know exactly what it's going to do and how it's going to perform. Now, for a Ford application, there really is no need to download the beta. The latest version, latest stable version, is going to be more than sufficient. However, if you do find that you have to go in at any point um, and you're having maybe some kind of an issue with some like a logging parameter or some kind of a, a, an issue with doing a flash and you contact the HP Tuner's support team, they may tell you to go download the latest beta version because they constantly, daily, update the software. So literally every time you come onto the website within maybe six or eight hours apart from each other, you may find that the software has slight changes or deviations from earlier in the day. Because again, they're constantly loading new beta versions into the mix here and you can always download that. Right now we're gonna be downloading the latest stable version just so we have that to go with for our training course. Let me go and do that right now. Let me click on this. And this is going to start off our process of doing the downloading here. So once I clicked on it, we can see down here at the bottom, we have run and save and we have cancel. I'm gonna click run right now. That's gonna allow it to run the executable file here. It's gonna allow it to start to download. We can see the downloading process right here. It should take about a minute. My connection speed and my internet is fairly quick here. So we'll just be patient and allow this to finish downloading. Now the VCM suite, again, combines the VCM editor and the VCM scanner. Both are needed in order to tune. The scanner is gonna allow us to data log or capture the live data and record the live data that's coming out of our ECU so we can see exactly what's going on. And the editor is gonna allow us to make our actual editing changes in the calibration or the tune file. That's what we flash and read from the ECU. So we need both and we're almost done here. So let's, let's let this finish up here in just a few seconds and then we'll continue on. All right, so there it's scanning, making sure it's gonna be safe to download. And we'll find here, if we go and minimize this, we we'll minimize our browser here real quick, we're going to find that the, uh, the software suite setup here is ready to go. We can see what version we're on, what we're version we're installing here. So 4.8.7.0. So this is the latest stable version that they have available. Now again, if you're trying to tune something other than Ford, you may find that you need to download that beta version. So they offer um, things from Nissan and Subaru and Porsche. There's all kinds of new things always being added to the mix with HP tuners. The same exact software will allow you to tune another type of vehicle. So if you're not just focused on doing Ford tuning, but you want to get into some other kind of tuning, you may need to do the beta. But again, we're focused on just Ford tuning for this training course and specific to the 2005 to 2010 model years. So I'm going to go down here and click next and allow this to start. We're going to agree to the terms here and click next. And then we find that it's going to be installing into our C drive program files x86 HP Tuner's VCM suite. We always want to know where that's installing in case we need to go find things like in our VCM scanner, we're going to find that we have things uh, called layouts. We can go and access those layouts if we want to go and um, maybe go and save some custom layouts. We know where to find them. Again, we want to know where that folder is going to be located. We'll allow it to install into that auto location that it's trying to generate right now. We'll click next here and then we'll do install and we'll allow this to complete its installation process. Um, we're going to ask me if I wanted to allow make changes to my vice here with this particular uh, .msi file. We're going to go yes and allow that to uh, go through the process here and we're going to do finish. So it's easy as that, extremely quick and extremely easy to download and install it. Now what we're going to have to do here, if we're looking on our uh, desktop, we don't find that we have our icon that we can just click on 
and get immediate access to the software, whether on the editor or on the scanner side. So what we're gonna have to do is take the next step here and make a shortcut link on our desktop, just so it's easy to get to. We don't have to go constantly uh, dig through our C drive in order to go and open up the software. So I'm gonna go here into my folder. Now I'm on Windows 10, so if you're on Windows 7 or 8, it might look a little different, but Windows 10 is pretty much the standard nowadays. Um, so I'm gonna go down here into the local disk C drive, and we can find here program files x86. And if we go down here, we find HB tuners. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.